Welcome back. My name's Colby with the Kianix. Uh, today we are looking at a 2009 Saab 93 2.0 turbo engine. Uh, we are going to be changing the valve cover gasket today. Uh, I couldn't find a real good video on it, so we'll make it short and sweet. Let's get started. Alright, what we're working with today, I used a pick, quarter inch drive, 7 8 5 16 channel locks, small little pry bar here, needle nose, I got a 10 mil, 7 millimeter, and a T30, along with a little RTV. Alright, grab your uh, T30 Torx bit and take out the, these three T30s on this plastic cover. And there is four T30s right here on the cover over the ignition coils. Alright, I got that front cover off, the this cover off here. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is grab my 7mm and come over here and get uh, this hose clamp on, this, on the bottom of this duct here loose and get the top one as well. I'm going to disconnect this little vacuum hose here and there is also one clip right here on the mass airflow. Pull the tab out and it will slide down. Once that comes out Go ahead and just pop this thing out of the way completely. Reach down there. And you can pop that off as well. Alright, next I'm going to grab my 10 millimeter and I'm going to take off these uh, four bolts holding the four ignition coils on as well as these four nuts here holding this uh, wiring harness in place in this plastic here. Alright, once you get those bolts out and those three nuts, uh, these ignition coils, you just grab these tabs here on the top and pull up and that will release the harness. Um, once we go through and pull all those up and then I'm going to grab a pair of pliers. I'm going to take off this guy here and this coolant hose here. All right, uh, I got this coolant line off from up front, uh, this vacuum line off in the back. I lifted the four ignition coils out. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to get this wiring harness out of the way uh, so everybody can see. Uh, it's not that difficult. There's a sensor here. Uh, we already unhooked the mass airflow. There's one sensor right down here on your uh, pressure sensor for your AC. Uh, and then there's just a couple up front right on top here and we are gonna try to lift this thing up and just shift it over out of the way. All right, I got most of these uh, harnesses unhooked here off this wiring harness. Uh, I went ahead and grabbed my 5 16ths and my 7 eighths and popped these uh, nuts loose on these fuel lines, as well as took out these two 10 millimeters here. Uh, that way I can lift the fuel lines out of the way and then shift that wiring harness out of the way as well. Alright guys, I got the fuel lines off, I laid those aside, um, I went ahead and grabbed a pair of needle nose and unclipped this wire, this wire here uh, from this uh, bracket, the bracket actually has a, I believe a vacuum line on the bottom of it, uh, unclipped that and then uh, the only, th you don't have to take this thing all the way off, the only thing I did extra was remove a little ground strap here, that way we can grab this whole thing and kind of lift it up and just get it set out of the way so we can get a good shot with the video. Alright, we've got the wiring harness out of the way and like I said, you can just pull it back a little bit, maybe put some bungees on it to hold it out of the way. You don't have to take it all the way off like that. Uh, there is 14 10 millimeters, five on the back, five on the front, four in the middle uh, on the valve cover. Make sure you got everything else unhooked. This bracket over here is, at, is clear. Um, we're going to go around take all those off and lift that valve cover off. Alright, I got all 14 of the 10 millimeters out. Uh, I grab a little small pry bar here. I'm just going to get under the corner of this just very gently. You'll hear it pop. Excuse me. Alright, where were we? Uh, something popped here and we were lifting this guy off. Once it pops, you'll be able to uh, get it up pretty easily, lift it straight off. Got 
glass gets a little stuck. There we go. All right, we got the valve cover off. I am going to now go around and very carefully clean all these uh, gasket surfaces with some clean paper towels. Uh, try not to get any dirt or anything down inside of the engine there. As well, over here on the other side, I'm going to completely degrease this whole valve cover. Uh, there is these little seals here that you got to take out. Uh, the valve cover itself, and we're also going to be changing the grommets that are on uh, all the hardware. I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll be back with you. Alright guys, we are back. I cleaned the valve cover real well. Um, I also cleaned this cylinder head uh, around the valve cover seating area here real well, as well as these four holes uh, leading to the spark plugs. Uh, on the valve cover itself, I'm going to take some RTV and put it under the corners of this gasket on these little half moons, as well as do the same here on the cylinder head. Uh, just a very small amount. Uh, these little gaskets here in the middle, the part that has the little notches in it goes down, that's actually what holds it in place there. Uh, snap all those in, get your RTV in place, make sure this is seated all the way around, and then we'll go ahead and set it in place. Alright, I got everything uh, where I want it. This is all seated real well. I got RTV under these corners, RTV there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lift this and put this in place. Uh, just be careful when you're setting it down, make sure you don't uh, have the gasket fall out or anything. I have to shift this bracket out of the way just a hair there. There we go. Um, I went ahead and changed out my grommets on my hardware. I'm going to go ahead and get that in and then we'll torque that down. Alright guys, we got the valve cover back in place. The 14 of those 10 millimeters are all tightened down. I tightened them in a crisscross pattern. Uh, put everything back together the same way we took it apart. Uh, I would recommend going and getting an oil change right after this in case you got any sand or anything spilled in there when you had it exposed. Uh, hook up your wiring harness, your coils, your fuel lines, your air intake here and the filter. Um, and check for leaks when you're done. Run it to, uh, and inspect that seal real well. Uh, even a couple days after you do it, uh, little leaks can spring up here and there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope I was able to help. Uh, leave a comment on the page if you have any questions. Uh, if not, we'll see you next time. Thank you.